So I have this weird thing going on with my hair this morning, so it looks kind of weird, but um, I just was having my devotions today. Um, I have the day off, and one of the things that's been on my mind for a couple of days now, um, honestly, for a while, and good gracious, it's been more than a couple of days, but um, for months probably, but just something I really want to share with especially the younger single girls or just older single girls um, that that I feel like I don't know. I just I just wanted to share it with you. I was just sitting here reading um, the gospel primer like I'd normally do every morning, and it was talking about, honestly, uh, what is it? Obedience born of love. So, like, obedience to Christ because we have a love for Christ. And it was talking about, um, it says, let's see here. Captured by his love in this way, my smitten heart increasingly burns to do his will and feast itself on doing so. And that phrase, my smitten heart, I just kind of took from that, like, not even, like, necessarily, like, I don't know, this isn't, like, big pick, this is kind of, like, I just, like, kind of grabbed me from this and, like, started just thinking about it, and, um, my heart went more towards just where it is right now, and right now it, it's at a place where it's longing for a companion, but, like, God hasn't opened that door, and so I'm very much single, which is fine it's honestly it's where God has me but it is hard and sometimes it's like painfully hard where I sit down and I cry and I'm like God like I really really want a companion right now and then sometimes I'm like yeah it's fine I'm single it's great you know so much opportunity but like in the midst of all of that there's this underlying longing to have a companion and I can't get away from that it's just where it's at like you know and it's um it's very it can be very, very powerful sometimes, and if you let it. Um, so God gives us desires, right? And I think we take those desires and we turn them into idols. And that's something that I struggle with so much. We take the gifts of God, we take the desires of God that He gives us, and we turn them into into um, idols because it becomes our thoughts' obsession. And so. One of the things I really struggle with is I'm just going about my daily task and I kind of just daydream. I'll just daydream about whatever. Um, I make up scenarios, I make up stories, which is great, you know, if you want to write or something, but on the daily basis, like, I can't think like that. Like, it's not where my thoughts need to be. And so I just really want to encourage us girls um, that are single especially, that when our thoughts go places not necessarily immoral, but where they just go to places where it becomes something totally pure and good, it becomes um, an idol, where it becomes bigger and better than God, where his companionship um, becomes dull compared to what we long for in a husband or a friend or a boyfriend as a companion. Does that make sense? So it's like where God's companionship is dull compared to any other, like, compared to the companionship that we long for on this earth. And one of the things that has been really eye-opening and good for me is just realizing that any companionship I make in this world, anything that is fulfilled in this world, any anything I do in this world is temporal, and it's going to fade away. It's not going to last forever. It's going to it's gonna break my heart, and it's it's temporal. It's not, it will not fulfill me. And so, yes, God gives me these desires. He has given me a very, um, a very much, uh, he's given me a huge desire to have a companion right now. But that's not a desire he's fulfilling right now. And so what I need to learn to do is to remember and to feast on who God is and like to, to let those desires that are yearning for a companion be turned honestly to worship to God and just independence upon him and who he is and and letting him fulfill me and learning that whenever my companion does come along that companion pales in comparison to who God is and so like I just want to challenge the girls especially in guys that are single and you're struggling to be satisfied is to Remember that this world is temporal. So any relationships that we make in this world are temporal um, in the sense of like romantic relationships. That's just a temporal thing. Everything is for the honor and glory of God. So where you are, the season of life you're in right now, is where you can best glorify God because God hasn't given you anything like he 
this is where you can best glorify God. Like, if you're single, great. This is where I can best glorify God. When he brings my bow along, like, I can best glorify God, you know, going through life with bow. Um, and then just taking this time where where you're like, oh, it's so hard. Why do I have to be here? And having joy in it because it's a place in life where you're dependent upon God. And letting God take those distracted thoughts and those times of pain or times of just like yearning and really letting Christ like take up those thoughts and those yearnings and let him be everything to you and go through life the rest of your life letting him be everything to you whether you're dating or married you know because ultimately none of those things are going to satisfy Life doesn't happen when Bo comes. Life happens now. Life happens then. Life is every day. And it's all about the glory of God. And it's all about depending on Him and letting God and be everything because we can't do anything without Him. And so there's just really sweet lessons God has taught me from being single, and I'm really happy about it. But it is hard because I just literally cried. I was like, well, God, like, I really desire to have someone, to have a companion. Like, none of my girlfriends in this world are going to ever be that companion that I want in a man. But my man is never going to be the companion that Christ is to me. And that's what I want to learn right now. I want to learn how to, how to just be satisfied in Christ and still be okay with the fact that I have these desires and that they are there and that they are strong and they're real and I'm never, they're never going to go away. That will always be there. Um, but like Christ is enough and he is good and it's all about him. So if I'm glorifying Christ best where I'm at right now, then that's awesome. So I hope that encourages you. Thanks for watching. Bye.